Okay, guys, welcome to another episode of Barry T's Garage. Today we are back at Five Star Engines, and Ed is going to tell us about this thing right here. There's a lot more to it than you might know at, at a glance. And why not? Let's let's find out what goes on with all these heads. They know something about it. They've been doing it for so many years. I want to thank you all for subscribing, for liking our videos. Ed gets a kick out of the uh, comments, and I appreciate you guys supporting our work with Ed and, and giving you guys some insights on how some of these engine builds work. Thanks for joining along. Here we go. All right, Ed, what is going on here with this thing? Well, this is a mill machine that we resurfaced summer heads. Okay. And uh, so we used to have a big machine that sat in the corner of the building. And then you had all kinds of, it's like a, a mill. You had all kinds of stands about so hall and they're adjustable. Okay. And you had to put a cylinder head on there and clamp it down. And then uh, it took you about a half a day so many hours to, to get it all adjusted just right back and forth and from one end to the other end. So you make it as straight as you possibly can. So then we can mill a, a little few thousandths off to make it straight. So then it will seal on the block better and seal the head gaskets and things like this. Okay. So then that was a big headmaster for it was made by some big company, a huge machine and set usually in the corner of a building. Wow. Okay. So then after a while, this guy made this, this Winfield was his name, Okay. made this fixture. So that revolutionized the whole thing of milling the head. Oh, well, what was revolutionary so then, about it? What happened? Well, then with this Winfield fixture, he wouldn't sell them, you could lease them. So you never buy one of these things until later on, after they finally end up, we could buy them then. Okay. So we, of course we bought them right away. And here's part of the fixture right here. Okay. It's the Winfield fixture. So you'd end up put the cylinder head there. Right. And then clamp this on it. Uh -huh. It had rails on here. that's adjustable a little bit. And the rails on here. So once this, the cylinder head was clamped on here, you could take the whole fixture with the head on it. So once it's clamped onto this Winfield fixture, this is part of the whole fixture. Okay. Then these things set on the little ramps set on there, oh. on here and here. Uh huh. And that was these are level with the cylinder head. Oh. All over, front and back. Okay. Then that's level with this machine. Okay. So sometimes we take this machine and run it over these to make sure they're true okay. without the cylinder head in them. Okay, just kind of test it out. Just to test them. Okay. Then there's hydraulic pistons in here. I'm gonna move this part of it. So okay. once you set the machine, the head over here, uh -huh. you looked at it, make sure it's done there. You take this clamp off, you put it back in your fixture here. Okay. Now they got the head on here. Yeah. And it's set on these, it's just holding these chains. Uh-huh. Just to set it ahead. Okay. And it's got hydraulic pistons in this thing. Interesting. This is the secret. Oh, the that's hydraulic hiding pistons. And so if you screw those pistons in, they go out at different angles. Okay. And will we'll secure the head. Oh. These are sharp on the end. Okay. They're sharpened so they dig into the head a little bit. Mm hmm So once this is tightened up then, and the other one's on the other end, so now you've clamped the head uh -huh. with these hydraulic pistons, level with these two things perfectly, then the machine starts and it's got one button under here. So this is the, the cutter, uh -huh. that little thing about the size of a dime. Yeah. And this happens to be the one for aluminum. Okay. And the one for cast iron is in there. Uh -huh. So you can loosen this up and just rotate this disc. This thing is there's one bit under here. Okay. We used to have the other tool, that bigger tool, had several bits underneath it. Okay. And then once you had several bits, you had to have them all the same. Or forever more adjust them. Because if one got out of whack, then it messed up the pattern on the whole cylinder or whatever you were serving. Oh, wow. It like cut an extra groove in it all the way down or wasn't, it was not good at all. And that machine was, they used that machine for 
maybe I don't know 70 years. Feels like you'd be fighting it, it all forever, the time. Forever, forever. It yeah. wasn't until they come out with this machine here and the Winfield fixture. See? I think these are about $275 a cutter, but they last for six months or a year. Yeah. Wow. It'd be good to them. That's awesome. Care. Yeah. And so, uh, this what makes this this whole device? What makes it work so well? Well, because it's all a mill. It's on a big lathe bed, you know, new cast steel. Wow, that looks heavy. So it's really heavy. And then the table that goes back and forth on it is all worm driven and a gearbox and all kinds of stuff at a certain speeds. Uh -huh. We can slow it up, speed it up, or whatever. And then we get ready to to mill it over here. We run this machine over, and it may touch over here a little bit and here around until we get it level and then it moves fairly fast okay and we can with the dial indicator here we can take like two thousandths off oh yeah so it's okay. really fine right really fine cut instead of like taking five at a time uh -huh. that would be terrible right so you just just arrange all the push rods and the the, right. This would be between the cylinder head and the, and the camshaft. And so if you're able to take just one or two thousandths, it makes you can no kind of leave everything the same. Yeah, it's basically the same. I see. And okay. we can mill a head here. does a perfect job. And we do all the heads that come through here. Every one of wow. them. We don't yeah, and you do a lot. There's yeah. obviously, <laughs> they're all so, over the place. What we do is it takes a, a few minutes to do it. Other than that, it would take maybe an hour, two hours to do one on that other machine years ago. Interesting, yeah. So, but, wow. But we just love this machine. So this, so the head stays stable with the base. With the base. And the table yeah. moves. And just the table moves. Interesting, yeah. yeah. I can see why that would be an advantage for sure. Yeah. These are always cut at a certain gauge. So then the grain in here is for a purpose. Okay, tell me so about that. So it etches into the sonar head. Mm-hmm, I can so see it. it. Yes, yeah, like a grip, like a file. Oh, right. The teeth in here in the same pattern is on the block itself. Oh. We have another machine that operates the same way, and we do the cylinder head, the block itself. Okay, and are, are we, they in the same angle as the block? Yes. Okay. Actually, we just resurfacing the block. Okay. Because it's old and, and got hot many, many times, and, and warps and get out of shape. So we'll resurface this machine, this and the block safe, and when you put a head gasket on there, it grips into both of them. Okay. If they were completely smooth, it'd be easy to blow the head gasket out of it. I never and, thought of and that. Move that gasket, yeah. So you want just a little bit of texture to grip it. To grip it, yes. Yeah. yes okay. That's exactly right. Wow. So that's it'd be really bad cool. to take a machine, a, a little sanding machine, uh -huh. and sand this. Right. Like a if sander. It's, if it's smooth as glass, it. it's not going to hold. It's not going to hold. I got you. Yeah. We love this machine. We love the other machine. And Not, we you, really don't care what it costs. Right. But we get the job done, and, and we do a lot of cylinder heads. Looks like this machine's been here for a few minutes. A few while, and then we rebuild it. <laughs> okay. We've taken it off, and they keep it clean, pretty clean. Right now, it looks like they've done a quite a few heads. With those yeah, it's been busy. Before you got yeah. here, it was been going yeah, and been going. Using, yeah. So, so that's uh, good. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day for this. Yeah, it's really a nice machine. We really? love it.